Hello guys, so um, I know I've been gone for a long time but I was moving house and I didn't have internet for three weeks and I was ill and I have problems with scoring that so as I haven't been up doing anything but um, looking back through my videos uh, a video I did ages ago called Praise Photoshop Speed Art the clan logo a lot of you guys like this and will try to add me on Skype and you know ask me to help you with it and then I noticed the other day that some of you <coughs> started asking for um, tutorials and I do it and yeah I thought I'd just um, do this video on tutorial for you while I start to think of stuff to ask uh, to do videos on so if you, if you know anything that you want me to do a video on then um, tell me yeah put it in the comments of this video of what you want to see and I'll do it and then uh, here's the, the guy he says, can you do a tutorial? And there's two thumbs up on a tutorial comment on this. So, um, yeah, I'll do it for you. Uh, I'll just actually go to the end so I can remember what it looks like. So. Right, okay, so I'm just going to do a simple one to save time um, once it's loads. Okay, so, right, first you want to move my tissues. First, you, <coughs> you want to pick File. <coughs> it's going to take so long. File, no. Then you want to change your pixels to 800 width and 800 height. That's the YouTube standard. And that's my YouTube logo template. And it's both pixels. And press OK. Uh, Oh god, it's gonna take forever. Alright, so once you've done that, you should get this white background. Um, I don't want it white, and you don't want it white either if you're gonna do it the way I'm gonna do it. <coughs> so, you wanna grab this little lock thing. Um, and you wanna grab the lock, and just put it in the fucking bin. Put it in the bin. And then you wanna. Um, get the fill, fill tool, switch colours around to make it black, make it black, whatever. Then you want to get your text tool. <laughs> now, the text is going to be fairly big because it's going to take up the whole, you know, the whole, so it's none of that. This is just going to, I'm just going to do this an easy one, so P, this kind of doesn't exist anymore, by the way. You're going to make the text around 400. And change the title the font to Batman Forever Alternate alright so 400 isn't big enough I see what 630 for the, the you know text click ok and you want to centre that, so you just want to move it into the middle. Just around there. Yeah. So, And then, what we're going to do now, is we're going to break the text up, like these little bits here, and add a shadow to it. So, you want to right click, you want to click Rasterize Type, and then you want to click on this, and click Polygon Lasso Tool. And then, all you want to do is just draw some triangles. Right, yeah, so, and once you've got one triangle, you can just move it away. This will move it around, so you can select where you want it to go. And you want to click the move tool, and just cut it away. But you must make sure that you click rasterize, because if you don't, it's um not going to move the actual part, it's just going to move the whole thing. Um, that's not what you want, you just want to grab out these little triangles here. And you don't want to make it too overdone. Does anyone look good? So, the textures for this, I'll. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get them to you, but. If you need them, go onto Google and type in them exactly. If you can't find them, add me on Skype. I'll put my Skype in the description and you can get them that way. So, once you've done that, you want to click the magic wand tool. 
you want to hold control and you want to oh, shift you want to hold shift and click every little one of these things you want to do control C and control V and what's that that's just duplicated all these little parts here right and it'll make a new layer so then what you want to do is I'm just going to rename this one P shadows just to make it easier right click you want to go to blending options okay, rank. and then what you want to do is you want to make it so that it feels like it's coming out or like it actually has come off and it's given a shadow to it so <coughs> what you want to do is you want to click an outer glow my drop shadow sorry oh is it an outer glow outer glow yeah so just make it make the outer glow black I think it's our glow anyway. And then what you want to do is you want to spread it a bit more, make the size a bit bigger. I'm actually going to make this normal. Right, and then you can see that it's sort of popping out like that. So what you want to do is just spin around with it. So what I would recommend using is spread nine, size forty six. Bl opacity is 100 and blending mode is normal and then pause that and do it and whatever <laughs> so once you've got that you can then go and insert the next text and to save time I'm just going to do this one as 100 you can experiment with the text sizes and I'm just going to put this one as Dan because it saves time uh, ok so let's open that and put it down there yeah you can zoom in and do whatever you want <laughs> again you want to wrist rise type <coughs> and doing the shadow <coughs> excuse me doing the shadows for this one is, is um quite tricky because it's all small so you might want to move them out a little bit more but not too much more because it will look tacky and like oh everything's coming from space and shit Anyway, I'm just trying to make this as um, simple as possible because I know a lot of people ask questions. So, good down. Uh, okay. Thanks for all the subscribers, by the way. It's really helping. There's um, there's only one problem. I don't know what to do with YouTube now. I don't know what else videos to make. A couple of friends said Minecraft, but I am editor, you know, gra um, feeder and all that, and I do tutorials as much as I can on what I think you would like, but um, I don't think Minecraft would be good for this channel. Um, I don't know about Let's Plays, you guys might like Let's Plays. But honestly, um, please say what you would like in the description, or what you think would be good for you to see, because I really have no clue for you guys. So. <coughs> you might realise that there's no kid in the background, because I moved house and I got my own room back. So nice. Living in East Sussex, man. Down. Just a bit. Sometimes you just need to play around with these shapes, areas, and stuff. A lot of people find it looks different and different things, which you obviously will. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Then I want to do is I'm going to try and do this as much as I can, but it's going to be bloody hard, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... I'm not going for the ones that look to be overlapping, because I know they're not going to work. Like, so... So, they're too overlap. So, anyway, once I've done that, I'm just going to go Control, Control V... Tadane Dan Shadows 
And then what I want to do is I can't be bothered to turn it all again, so I'm just going to hold Alt, grab the effects button on P Shadows, and drag it over to Dan Shadows, and it'll add the same effect. But once you've done that, I'm going to double click on it, go to the Outer Glow, and reduce the size because it's smaller. So about 21. You can zoom out. And then you can see you got this sort of effect. It's looking pretty good already, to be honest. So yeah. Once you've done that, you can then start to add your um, little textures, you know. <laughs> so, hopefully she's not back. Right, uh, we go to my pictures, and okay, what you want to do is go on Google and type in, this is how I found it. Um... Type in. If you want to type in that? Just type in redirect, or whatever. Yeah, and then you want to type in scratches underscore ii underscore by underscore struck dumb, and then you might find it. You might find a different one that you like, a different type of scratch that you can get. Um, <coughs> it's entirely up to you, but that's why you just type that on Google. If you can't find them, uh, add me on Skype, and I will send them to you. So once you've done that, once you've done scratches, you want to go your mouse tool, drag it over, highlight this, put it on, and it's going to be bloody huge. Let's go zoom out, hold control, press T, make it smaller, obviously. Uh, zoom, it's green. Okay, make it a bit bigger now. You can actually make it so it fits both sizes. Like that. And once you've done it, then what you want to do is you want to click normal and you want to click overlay, I think. Uh, multiply. Yeah, it's multiply. So yeah, do it with just a P first. So drag it onto the P first. Then, um, just control C, control V. Wait. Oh, Jesus Christ, bless me. Okay, that's not working. So, duplicate that layer. <coughs> and just bring it down under the, that text just there. So, yeah, once you've done that, now you've got that, you can now add your lens flares. Uh, oh shit, no we can't. We need to find redirect first. So, we want to type in broken glass, type in redirect broken glass, something. Once you've got that, drag it back over. Again, it's going to be huge. Just going to do zoom out, control T, zoom in. If you need any help as well, please um, uh, ask me on Skype and I will try to help you as best as I can without being too. Complicated because I know some of you are quite. Mm, how do I do this? Oh, you want to make that lighten? Or oh, right, put that screen. Pretty decent. I think you want to make this one fucking huge. Like that. You might want to turn the opacity down a bit. And then what you want to do is you want to get the rubber. You want to select a brush that has got this little faded thing on, make it quite big and bigger. But because it sort of crashes out there, it won't look good. So you want to fade it itself out, so it doesn't look like it's just stopped. And then, yes, you can again duplicate that. It's okay. Bring it down to this one. Make it a bit smaller first. Down. <coughs> so yeah, there you go. And it doesn't look the best, but still. So then, what you want to do is set them to the screen. So once you've done that, and then, um. 
you can type this in on Google as well. Uh, and this is a bitch to find for me. Uh, just where you add your lens flares. You can type in multi media military lens flares. And we're going to use the one with number 44. Uh, yeah, 44. That's not the only one. Oh, I think. I don't know. Drag that in. Okay, that is flaming bright. <laughs> then, Control T. Bit bigger, not so spin it around. You want to put it on the corner of the P, make it come down more. Corner of P, rotate it a bit so it's sort of that. And then, once you've done that, yes, you've got this little line here, but you're going to duplicate this layer first, make it brighter like that. Then because you've got this line, you just want to do the same thing again. Go back into the other layer and do it again. Right. So once you've done that, um, what's that one? Uh, we're just going to have to find a different one here. File, open. So first you want to type in multi-millimeter lens flares and find number 44. If you can't find it, add me on Skype and I'll do it for you. And the other one, I am just going to use 32 because I don't have a clue what one I used. Jeez Louise. It's like a little ray a little ray ray gun thingy. Huge. Right, so then we want to control T. Uh we want to do something about that it's Flip those, what the hell is going on? And, uh, right, the lens flow is actually there. Dip go layer. Dip cake. And there you go. There's your um, logo. But, um, the ones we used were 32 and 44. Um, type in scratches, redirect, and that on um, Google, and I'm sure you'll be able to find it. But that's the logo. Um, I did as best as I could to match it again. Um, pretty simple. I hope you like this video. Please see what I could do because I have no clue. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe and uh, bon voyage.